So guys, the thing I want you to think about, keep in mind, leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Like that? Yeah? Good. Bam! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Reggie B. So guys, we're gonna take a different spin on things. The generation we live in is messing up the new generation coming up. So what I mean by that is the leaders that are supposed to inspire, motivate, and show positive attitude is destroying the way the new generation, the kids, the teenagers, are growing up to think this is the way they're supposed to be. A lot of information out there, especially guys, they give off what they're not doing and what you should be doing. What I mean by that is, you see guys, they're coming out with diet plans, workout plans. They're telling you some good information, but it's not stuff that they follow, which then that's mixed information. Because if I wanna look like you, be as strong as you at the same time, if I follow your workout plans, I will never look like what you look like or be as strong as what you lift because of the information that you're giving. You're telling us don't do steroids, I don't take steroids, be natural, natural eating, but at the same time, that's not stuff that a lot of these guys is following. So that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to start my own YouTube and get into the fitness industry. So when people look, they don't have to go through the trial and error I did. Because growing up, you didn't really have social media the way it is now. Right now, you can go on internet and you can find anything. There wasn't too much of that growing up, so I had to go into the gym, I had to pay attention. I had to go through trial and error of getting hurt, getting injured, following certain guys' workout plans, not actually knowing what it did, just following what I seen. Going into stores, getting magazines, and following these little routines, but you see guys that are super jacked telling you if this is the workout routine that they're doing, this you will look like this naturally. I didn't want to be that. I wanted to stand out for the young generation and for a lot of people who are lost now that when you're paying attention to my YouTube channel or looking at my workout videos or workout plans or programs or diet plans, this is something that I live by. This is something that I use on myself. This is not something that I'm just creating and I'm saying, hey guys, this is the workout plan that got me looking great. This is what got my biceps looking like this, but that's not something that I actually go by. Everything that I say is something that I live by and you can trust. The sources out there are tainted. So there's an ups and downs to being famous in the fitness industry, in any industry, and there's a downfall from it. There's a good side of it because now you have that voice to inspire others. You have that voice for people to pay attention to, to show positive attitude, to bring greatness to the world. But there's a downfall of it because now you have people that are paying attention to everything that you do. So everything that comes out your mouth matters. And I've realized a lot of people in high positions don't really live by that creed of inspiring others the right way. They may do certain workout plans that you may see, wow, that's inspiring. They were once big and overweight at one time and now they're nice and skinny. And they'll tell you, I did it naturally, but in reality, they didn't. They were using certain enhancements to get them like that. So yeah, it's a good story to look at visually to be, wow, this was overweight, now this is person's fit. But at the same time, there's a downfall of that because you're giving the perception for people who look up to you that this is the way of living. Which at the end of the day is BS. Because if you wanna be real about it, be real about it all around. Don't just give what you want people to think and see and be like, hey, this is what I got this. But then in reality, you're doing something under the table. If you wanna take steroids, if you wanna cheat, if you wanna take enhancements, be real about it because at the end of the day, people respect that. And the fitness industry, in Hollywood, music industry, nobody's being real these days. So this is what it comes to by tainting the younger generation's minds and everybody's minds by believing in something that's not real. Because for example, I've been in the fitness industry for about three and a half, four years now, right? And it's something that is amazing because I'm able to reach people that are not even in New York. 
I'm able to reach people in LA, reach people from different countries, different states, all around the world by the way I conduct myself and the way I carry myself in and outside the gym. Because not only that you're showing positivity and showing people how to live inside the gym, you're showing them outside the gym by your mindset, by how respectful that you are to others. But at the end of the day, you have to be true to you. And I've noticed by being in a position that I am now, you have to really be on point of being true to you. Because I see a lot of guys, especially growing in the industry really fast, they're conforming to a lot of the BS that the world is throwing at us these days. For example, you have a lot of guys in the fitness industry, right? A lot of females in the fitness industry. But at the end of the day, remember, sex sells. You have a lot of these guys showing and talking about, this is how you work out biceps. This is how you work out legs. This is how you work out glutes, so you get a six pack. And they'll automatically, as I'm explaining this to you, they'll have hot, la la. very attractive females in their videos that are not saying anything really too much in the video. They're just there for the views. A lot of people don't understand what I'm trying to make a point. If I'm giving you the example of being positive, but right now I have a hot female right here, turned around almost butt naked, that's gonna bring views because a lot of males are paying attention to her and saying how sexy she is. Wow, who's that girl in the background? At the end of the day, they're not too much paying attention to me, they're paying attention to her. So I'm conforming to, hey, sex sells. So I don't really care about giving too much of information. I'm trying to brainwash you so you can put money in my pocket. That's not how, especially at a high position, should look down on people because I don't care about the views. I care about inspiring others. If there's a hundred people in a room and I'm able to touch one, that's all that matters to me. But in the position that I am, I'm trying to reach the world. That's what I care about. I'm trying to really be remembered after I leave this earth because we're not all gonna be here. And that's the thing that uh, this young generation need to pay attention to. Throw the peer pressure away. Don't worry about it. A lot of people are going to try to pressure you into being something that you're not, telling you this is the way to be, this is how you get famous, this is how you make money, but this is the way you wanna be. You don't wanna be a puppet to nobody. People in high positions, as much as you think that, hey, those are leaders, they're being a puppet to someone else because they're not even living by their own creed. They're not even living by the things that come out their mouth. These are the workout plans that I'm using, but they're not even really living by that. I'm selling you something that I don't live by. That's not a leader, that's a puppy, that's a follower, that's somebody that's conforming to what the world is today. And that's not something that I am. I'm something that's true and that's something that I'm real and I've always been like that from day one. So for all those guys out there and women out there that feel lost and feel like you're an outsider because you're not fitting in, you're not following the trends, forget the trends. Trends come and go. Money comes, money goes. Fame comes, fame goes. But what lasts is what you leave on this earth and that's the positive, special attitude and things that you leave behind. People are not gonna remember you by how much money you have. Yeah, they'll talk about it here and there. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna be remembered forever. It's what you leave behind of how you touch people emotionally and physically on changing their lives is what's gonna make you be remembered forever. So, keep in mind guys, never fall through the same issues that everybody else around you is going through. Be your own person. Follow the own beat to your own drum. Never follow the trends. Never try to conform to anybody. Never try to fit in. If you're who you are, there'll always be someone out there that's gonna try to fit in with you. Don't try to fit in with somebody else. Be you and other people are gonna respect that and they'll want to be part of your life and they'll want to follow what you do. Also guys, before we end this video, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment on what you think about this video. Not only that, don't forget to hit that notification button so you know when my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be with Claudio. Metamorphosis complete.